Hey guys, Xbait Mojo here. Today I'm gonna show you how to play perfectly macro game with the Kasadin. How to move on the map, TP plays, efficient resets, how to rotate all of that together. You will get a huge value and feedback out of it. Don't hesitate to ask me questions in the comments. In this game, we're gonna play against Kasadin versus Talia, Fleet Footwork plus Trigen Hunter. You will see on the screen. Dark Seal start, not Doran Shield. Why? And why Fleet? Well, against champions like Anivia, Talia, that you can dodge possibly the skill shots, the fleet footwork movement speed allows you to, to stay way more comfortable on the lane and as well play way more aggressive from the level 6, yeah? So I taken the fleet here to basically have way better movement speed, disengage, engage possibility and dodging her knockup. Treasure Hunter, just because I wanted to snowball harder, Ultimate Hunter is still a really consistent option, so no worries, yeah? With Dark Seal, why no Doran Shield? Well, because actually this a little bit of the AP early game with my Q allows me to still implement the pressure and gives me a bigger shield on the on the magic damage, yeah? So as you see, I'm prioritizing to spam Q as much as possible early, but the goal is to stay efficient, definitely. I got TP, I'm not playing with Ignite, I have Fleet, Dark Seal, and the goal is to be really efficient with CS, right? So the opponent is gonna perma push at me. He started tier, which is really comfortable for me, I'm not gonna lie. But still her wave wave clear is really big. I would recommend you to pay attention how I'm moving with my fleet footwork. It's really important that you pay attention when it's ready and how to use it. You will soon see how I will be using it to, to deny the opponent and to fight him. Really chill last hits under the turret, the mindset, if you ask me what's the mindset. Well, you wanna spam Q on the opponent, but most importantly, you wanna get as much CS as possible. So here the mindset is clearly get the CS right. And uh, this game I'm playing Laden Tempest. I CBA playing Road of Ages, bro. So after the Kassadin nerves, I'm going full AP. I would be deciding between Crown and Aladdin Tempest. In a really tanky games, uh, in a really tanky games, I would go for the Road of Ages when opponents are Bruiser. So look at her. She's so same HP as me, so actually the Q poke gives me here a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Three people on the bot side. Um, I, I like to check the statistics and stuff. But this is gonna be a really interesting game. You will see how much macro-wise it's gonna be. Here, the goal is to survive as long as possible to get a good reset, right? I can still greet. If the opponent started slow, letting the wave push into him, that would be a problem. But what this guy is doing, he's perma shoving. Since he's perma shoving, I won't know what's going on every time he pushes into me, so I ward the center of the lane to make sure I know when he will recall or potentially roam. That was the idea here. As you see, I'm getting free farmed by the master tier Talia player. No problem, I really like it, thank you. Max E for the wave clear. It's the way E after the nerves already, if you wonder. Her mana sustain. Here, in this situation, I already noticed her mana sustain. So she's way less returning to me. And you can see that the, the last hits are the prior. This would be the last possible recall. That would be the last possible wave I could get, and otherwise I can get Dove. I have a base which is worth already decent amount of gold. Well, why am I staying is because it costs me nothing to stay because she has low mana, so the risk of them me getting off is really low. That's why I still stayed. I faked, I pretend that I'm recalling and I dynamically made a decision if I'm finishing the recall or not. Opponent thought I'm recalling, so it could, we could say it was as well a mind controlling to show that like, okay, this guy is recalling, so I'm going to push right, in Talia mind. Look at itemization, you will see. That's so slow, holy moly, but I'm tipping. And I'm gonna go blasting when plus boots. No, what? Okay, never mind, never mind. So, he gave already kill to Talia from what I remember. I was thinking about skipping the tier and going for the, for the lot of damage. Blasting went plus boots. But I decided on uh, going actually to scale with the tier 
getting the boost boost really important and see the free, free footwork proc right so there is the, my peak time of free tanning with the fleet i'm trying to reach get a proc fleet and he dies maybe we should do it one more time i don't know like let, let's let's talk about the full full situation how does the thought process here so i get my things i jump Opponent uses the spells, he didn't expect me to do that, I don't know why. I have another R with fleet, I pro proc my fleet, continue with auto, and then I'm spacing to the right, but I'm ready to bounce back when her position will be allowing me to reach her. And she allowed me to reach her, slowed boom. So the fleet footwork here was insanely useful, but you need to pay attention to your fleet footwork, right? So the boots were really essential, tier could be still skipped. If I, if I wanted to go blasting went, right? I assume this game I wasn't sure I wanna still go Laden Tempest or Crown. Now we crash the wave, of course, we gotta fix it. And after that it's gonna be a efficient reset. I cannot afford to stay for a plate, otherwise the Talia will get a... Will be First of all, Talia will be faster on the lane, because she will arrive first and I'm second. If I stayed for a plate, I would be so much in tempo behind because she would get rom timer over me because she would wave clear this wave way faster so my goal is to be a little bit after her on the lane or at the same time yeah that's why we didn't stay for a plate i make in i give information that uh talia is missing plus i'm covering here right so map one is key is a key sadly i'm losing a cannon wave on the lane but uh I'm getting the kill here, so it's really important. I ping him to go back. He knows that I need to get it. I lost the cannon wave, but I covered for him. And I type GG. Don't ask me why. But map awareness, yeah? Dark seal, huge stack, a huge snowball possibility as well. So, okay, again, again. Let's clear. Let's deliver the wave. And now it's two seconds. I got some mana. I have uh, 400 gold. It's not enough for anything for sorcerers for blasting one. That's why I'm deciding to stay, yeah? This guy is wasting time on me for no reason, I don't know why, but it's good. So as you see, when I'm this amount of health, health and mana, I decided to stay and greet some gold still, yeah? Because otherwise I would only recall to get like a mana region. Really important is to provide information to your team. Where is this Talia moving? And then you, you you need to make sure that you will keep an eye on her, yeah? I'm XP advantage here, I have a huge XP advantage, but still I'm gonna be perma, be, gonna get perma shoved by her. So if you ask me, what's the thought process now? Well, get to your sorcerer boots or blasting one, try to focus on wave clearing the wave. Since you're half HP and don't have any more potions, you cannot really trade with her. So at least make sure that you will keep up, stay efficient with the waves. Here I could jump like this because she allowed me to, she went somewhere. So it's gonna be signalizing that she's missing again. And I need to walk and cover for a bit. I mean, I wanted to cover, but like... As you see, fog of war, abuse, you know? Making pressure, not showing, she did the same. So it's like a chess game between both mid laners, thinking, is she going to kill my top laners? No? Okay, but I'm still gonna wait. And you see, she fed me with the wave because she thought I reset it or roamed, right? So here, the fog of war abuse was really good. And I'm not gonna recall here, if you wonder, because it's not a cannon wave. And I checked that. Or did I? Yeah, I'm not, because I know she will one-shot this wave. So it's really important that between the waves you check what wave is behind you, because you need to know which one is it. The most efficient recall is when the cannon is coming to the lane. So now the goal is, find an efficient reset, bro. Find an efficient reset. Yeah, you have to be quick. And now, we check the wave. I reset now, cannon wave coming, now I can reset. Now I can reset, I gotta be fast. Because she will turbo crash it. Yes, counter word why? Because I wanna help my teammates get the vision against her ROM timers, aura cleanse, because I can go and ROM as well, and make sure that it's not worth it. 82 CS, 10 minutes of the game. And uh, Sorcerer Boots to have way more ma magic penetration, which gives me the burst, especially when I'm the only AP champion in the game. So Talia now missing, she ha no, she stayed. So now, really important point, she didn't reset, I reset it. Quick word just to be able to play aggro. I put it a word like that, 
because this was just to quickly provide myself the comfort of playing aggressive on the lane. Now I'm zoning out her from the wave and I'm playing around my fleet footwork procs, my fleet footwork procs to get a sudden movement speed and reach to her if she possibly would walk up. Mm, there is a fight on the bot lane, map awareness. Aura cleanse to scan and threaten. And just checking, yeah, right? Just checking. Okay, too ambitious. Not gonna waste time, otherwise the guy will one-shot the wave. So that was actually... Well, provide like I tried, but I knew what what I meant, what, what I what I did here. I gave her a free recall, sadly, right? So that was the price of me rotating for a few seconds to the bot side. I gave her, I let her breath, so she based, and I based as well. No, I stayed actually. Oh no, she had TP. Lol. I didn't recall, guys, because I still was decent health and mana, and I didn't have enough gold for the blasting one. That's why I stayed here. So here, as you see, it's really hard to reach to this guy, especially with her cringe range, right? But at least I'm eating so much XP. Can I recall? No, I cannot. Of course I cannot. I need cannon behind me, bro, to recall. So now, with this amount of resources, I'm gonna be farming. I can. I, I don't think so. I'll possibly threaten her, especially when she got in her Leandris with her setup, you know? She got a kill from the Rengar before, so she's quite fed. Now I'm checking, okay, no cannon again. No cannon, no recall. Belveth was free tanning, so I'm fa fake fake roaming, you see? I'm fake roaming to make a pressure, and then they, this way I'm making sure it's not worth it as well. So I'm like, really, even though I'm not roaming, I'm doing like this DOPA style of uh, implementing the pressure. Now she can potentially roam, right? So that's what I mean, chess game, bro, chess game. All the time chess game. Recall and into TP in this situation. Okay, she's walking, we see it. But I got a recall finally. Blasting went and I will be looking if I TP or no. Observation. Observation. I get TP. I'm watching. I'm just letting him know. Talia is around the top lane as well. Mid lane, mid lane wave is totally fine in terms of the wave state. So look how much information you need to have to be good, you know? I mean, not to be good, but like, the more you see, the more you expect, the more you read your opponent, the better you get. So as you see, it's like, so far it's 40% mechanics and movement, 60% map, and uh, reading the opponent, right? Here, look, another fake roam, another fake roam, randomly, because I had uh, just one second to do it. But yeah, it's insanely hard, honestly, it's insanely hard to reach this guy, but I have one thing in my mind. I'm getting all of the XP, all of XP. I'm getting so much XP, even though I cannot reach her. Now, another free turning the ROM timer. Look where is the wave. Wave is just walking to the mid, so I can possibly free turn the bot side right now because the wave is just walking to the mid lane. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to disengage. Plus, where is the Belveth, right? So, those two factors. But at least here, it was a protect for the... For the mid. Why no control ward, bro? Well, because like you wanna lose XP for a one control ward? No. Obviously you don't wanna, so XP more 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 important. Now she's gonna roam to bot lane again. You need to be ready with your TP. A lot of reading. Really dynamic game in terms of the macro game. She might be potentially roaming. She will be. So I mean she can. So you see the awareness is right on point. TP ready. Do you stay for a plate? No, I have Laden Tempest in the base. I'm gonna reset and get my Laden Tempest, bro. I need to be really fast because the wave isn't cannon behind me, so I can potentially lose the wave. But I'm gonna recall for this Laden Tempest, finally. But I need to be giga fast. You see? One shot. Spamming Rift Talk to 320. Not gonna jump below 320. Lost one XP. So that was really fast. Talia, ROM timer again. Why Laden? I'm the only one AP champion in the game. They are quite squishy. ICBA playing Croa, bro. Looking for the ROM timer now. Wave is gonna meet on the center. It's gonna be a handshake. Looking for a ROM timer, okay. Talia isn't there. Wave on the mid is cannon. So I'm still checking a little bit. 
and this way I'm outroaming her, yeah? So as you see, a lot of proactivity. I missed my E. Good, I got my treasure hunter. And now we're gonna catch the wave. Was it a cannon, though? Uh, yeah, you see? How good that handshake ROM timer was. So between those waves, you can really sneak a crazy good ROM timers. Since Belvef is dead, one person is only bot lane. I'm doing the Herald to implement even more pressure on the map. I could have waited actually for the Dragon, but it's fine. Yeah, for the Dragon it would be better actually. Around the Dragon timer. Next item. Seraphs or Rabad on this game? I don't remember. Depends how hard I will snowball. Since I went tier really early, I assume I will go Seraphs this game second. If I both tier really late, I would go Rabad on second. Depending on the snowball. Look, map awareness again, right? So keep the wave pressure, insta shove, play map. Because my teammates are looking for a play, I need to be ready. This cannon was juicy, I cannot sacrifice it. Mm -hmm. One more jump. Okay, the play is over. No need to force, honestly, we gave one almost like 700 gold to Talia for no reason. What was just the matter? Prepare for a dragon. Play for a dragon, guys. It's all good. So as you see, I'm really good at punishing between the the, the waves and looking for a mistakes of the opponents, right? Of course, we take the dragon. Large rot. No magi because uh, seven stacks. I would like to go for magi around the ten stacks on the dark seal. But this this time, I, it wouldn't be bad magi, by the way. But since my tier is getting stacked really well. Since my tier is getting stacked really well, I'm not gonna delay my Archangel here, you know? So yeah, get a wave ASAP and between those waves, look where is the wave behind me. Really far away, right? This can be used to be a ROM timer. And from what I remember here, I went to cover this Xante because I got the TP for the Dragon anyway. So just in case, I'm making sure I will cover this guy. He killed her fine, so I'm just running back. And covering a little bit for him. Why? Because my bot lane is having the good pressure. So I didn't have to sw sweat. I, w I used to say sweet. I, I didn't have to sweat for a dragon. And now flanking we're back again. Oracle's got used. They don't know about me. Okay, worth it. Fine. No problem. So as you see, a lot of proactivity. A lot of good CS and a lot of proactivity on the map. My bot is winning from what I remember. Jungle isn't doing bad either. Talia got outromed somehow by Kasadin. Weirdo. And now, what's the plan, x Mojo? Baron in one minute from now. So I'm gonna sit on the side lane and I'm gonna implement the pressure on the side lane. And when I deliver the wave deep enough that I'm gonna be scared to contest, I will be doing push, rotate to the team. Push, rotate to the team. Meanwhile, really important, I got TP. I got the TP. So thanks to this TP, I can decide what I'm gonna do. So as you see here, I'm making the push into rotate. It's literally like a pattern. Okay, they are scared of me. No problem. Then I'm just gonna observe. You see, I'm a living predator. I'm wasting time of the Belveth, but I'm not gonna flip on her because she has the damage, damage reduction. And we got Talia making a mistake, right? She got poked really hard. Help the teammates make a pressure there the mid and probably bounce back to the bot side again. Getting seraphs, right? Careful my nose, I'm gonna sniff it now. You see again. Why? Because Talia cannot... Why you wanna go suddenly? Suddenly, because Talia cannot match me, bro. This Talia cannot match me. That's why, that's why. Oh, oh kurva, my biceps is so big, broski. And it's only the beginning. Okay. So now, solo bot lane. Again, with TP, teammates are meant to play around the Baron. Yeah? Giga healthy game, exactly perfect to show to your kids and children in the future. In terms of the healthy macro, what to prioritize. 
I'm stuck. I was stuck in my archangel here for level 14 at 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm pinging them. I wanna go bot lane, guys. Let's play around the baron. Yeah, exactly. Please play top side. Why? Why? What do you mean? Like between mid and top lane, right? Between mid and top lane. That's what I mean. Oh, here. Like, sorry, because you don't see. And look who I puff. It's really important. I'm a hunter. Sure, yeah? So now I get a wave. Because sometimes I you see them walking and I just, you know, check. Okay, this is, this is needs to be you know destroyed and now again same pattern look look for them clear the vision and look randomly belveth is bot lane what the fuck good luck now my teammates are making the pressure around the baron so pressure wise you see how much i'm giving you know not grouping with my team and you can see my runes here actually Again, wave pushed, clear the vision, don't show on the map, make pressure, observation. Why you don't move X-Rate module? Four people are missing both, four people are missing, four. I'm just waiting, I'm making them confused, I'm looking for a prey. If I won't find anything, then I'll simply jump, one shot the wave and repeat. That's why I wanted to show you guys this game, because it's beautiful. I'm not saying like I'm a god in this game. No, I just wanted to, to show you a really healthy usage of ROM timers and stuff, right? R Look, Talia goes bot lane to me. Okay, nice. But like, I can rotate to mid now. Or I can, you know, keep up with the pressure. Because Alexander died. Dragon in 30 seconds. I'm really efficient. Level 15 at 22 minutes. So now, if you wonder me, it's eight. If you wonder, it's eighty percent map awareness, twenty percent champion, on this game phase. It's eighty percent map awareness, twenty percent champion. Knowing scoreboard and map. Guys, I'm as well coaching on daily note, all roles in the game. I'm a rank to coach on the both websites, BetterGamer and Metafight.com. So in the description, you will find the links to get coaching with me. Feel free as well to join my Discord. I'm not advertising it, but if you wonder if I can coach you another champion or other role, yes, I can. I'm capable of that, otherwise I wouldn't be ranked to coach on many websites, my friend. So just wanted to advertise myself for a moment. Okay, uh, now my teammates got in the dragon. I was most far away from the dragon because I got TP. Soon, we need to check if Xante have TP, because if he has the TP, then it's good. He can be bot lane. If he doesn't, it would be good to swap me with him just to protect the, the Baron. And since we got so much pressure, I'm securing the, securing the 16. So now the play is around the Baron. The person with TP should be most far away from the team. I'm getting the 16 here. Rabadon third item, Giga Balls. Yeah, they just gotta be careful. Play slow, I'm almost 16. Give them a goal. Communicate with your team, bro. Communicate with them. Come on. One more wave and we get the 16. We don't know where five other people on the map. Look who I'm positioning. You see, I'm gathering the information before. Now I see three people. I can get my 16. I see there is some kind of fight going on almost. So map awareness. And I'm 16. And now we can play the game. Now we can look. Now we can hunt. Oracle is insanely important, as you see. Insanely important. Look at how I'm gonna flank. Look, look, look. I got trapped. If I wasn't, I would jump through this wall on the right and kill her. But good trap from her. Peek, I type peek, please, just to make sure that we can like get our panic, yeah? So look, I'm looking for a peek. I cleared this vision here before. So I'm looking for a for a peek, and it's a perfect peek here. It really buddy from me. But it's okay, yeah, I'm making pressure. We got a peek, that's what we wanted. And I have TP. So I'm gonna recall. I'm gonna 
get a large rod and uh, then we can clear opponents, yeah? So this was the easiest way to get a pick. I'm stacking my jumps. If you are if you are locked camera, you are cringe in this situation because you need to hold your mouse to even look. And yeah, here we go. Spam your R to dodge her Q. Observation, right? This flash wasn't that much necessary, but it's fine. And yeah, and this this way, I got level 16 and a 25 minute. And we basically gapped the opponents, right? With the, with the macro game, ROM timers, wave management. Just wanted to show you a really clean game of a Kasadi. And I type, finally feels good because I went Lad and Tempest, bro. That's why I written that finally feels good. Mm -hmm. So if you wonder what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get blue buff, reset, get Rabadon. And then we're gonna show how to finish the game properly. Then we're gonna show you how to finish the game properly. All right, so now through the mid and for to cover my Zaya, then I don't want to show anywhere. I want to look go through the jungle. I want to go through the walls. I'm a level six Kassadin. I just want to look for a flank. So try to not show, try to look for a potential on the map, especially when you're level 16 Kassadin, my friend. So it's quite illegal to for free show to your opponents. She is that this guy is strong. At this point, everyone is really strong. <laughs> look how I'm moving. You see? Look, look. My teammates are pushing. I'm a cleaning, cleaning, cleaning service right now. I'm a cleaning service right now. This is the potential of level 16 Kasadin, bro. Look. I didn't jump because of mana. They didn't sweat for a kill, ACBA. And at this point, we push all lanes. They cannot def at all. They got turbo stomped. Map is a progression. So step by step, open tier two turrets. Then open the tier three turrets. Open all tier two, which are easier. Tier three are harder. Since we got a Baron and opponents inted, it's quite easy. The map progression in this game. From what I remember, they will FF in a moment. Now Magi, because you're a pimp. 261 CS, Talia 250. And now the goal would be to get a soul point. So the dragon, I think it's a soul. And then uh, we can at this point go five. But if we had at least one person on the sideline, it would be good. Okay, they surrender, guys. Yeah. So... This is how you play with ROM timers between the waves with uh, on the sideline. In my opinion, quality video. If you have any questions, ask me, bro. Write the comment. Don't forget to join my Discord. And don't mind this advertisement here because it helps me. So, guys, don't hesitate to subscribe as well. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for your patience. Bye-bye. I am Xblade Mojo and I'm helping players reach their dream goal in League of Legends. Don't hesitate and book your 30 minutes free meeting with me right now. Link in description. Excited to talk to you. Good luck.